All right, so the five biggest lies that people tell about freight broker sales. We're gonna start out, we're gonna get through this really quick. Number one is, if you just memorize this generic, boring, old school sales script, you'll be able to get customers. And the fact is, those scripts rarely, if ever, work. And the problem is you have to make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of calls per day in order to get lucky enough with one of those scripts for them to work. There's three of them that I've talked about in the past. You know, the old, hey, my name's Dennis. I'm a new freight broker. Hey, I was wondering if I could just move some of your loads, right? You're just going straight at it, that generic, very salesy pitch. That script, everybody's heard. Every shipping manager, logistics manager, warehouse manager has heard that script and they don't want to hear it again. So stop using it. Another one. Hey, my name is Dennis, you know, with XYZ, we've got trucks in your area regularly. And I was just wondering if we might be able to move some of your freight. Yeah, the old, we've got trucks in your area. Well, first of all, you're a broker, you don't have any trucks. But second of all, they've heard that pitch too many times, all right? And then number three, you know, hey, my name is Dennis, with I'm XYZ Logistics. I was wondering if we could save you some money on your truckload freight, right? The old, hey, I can save you money. That sounds great on paper. The problem is, is you've now painted yourself in the corner. And now if your rates aren't cheaper than everybody else's, you can't get the business. And if your rates are cheaper than everybody else's, you're probably not going to make any money. That's a big lie. That's one of the things that I dispel in my freight broker sales accelerator program, my coaching program. That program is something where I've trained over a thousand students in that sales training and coaching program. And again, if you want to get on the wait list, you can check that out at freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash wait list. It's sold out. You can't get enrolled right now, but I will be opening it in the near future. And if you get on the wait list, you'll be the first to get notified. So I hope that helps. All right. Number two, biggest lie. You need to be an extrovert in order to be good in sales. Meaning you have to be one of those people that's the life of the party and you're a charismatic speaker and you like to tell jokes and you're the, you're the center of attention at every party, right? You have to be that extrovert in order to be good in sales. And that could not be further from the truth. There are extroverts that are good in sales. But what I've found is that introverts sometimes are better at sales. Now you may find this hard to believe, but I'm an introvert. Okay. Yes. I know I'm sitting here on video. Yes. I know I've done a lot of these trainings. Yes. I know I've been in business for a long time, but the fact is that's hard for me. My natural tendency is to be more of an introvert. I like spending time alone. I like reflecting alone. I get exhausted from parties, right? And so ultimately I'm an introvert, whether you believe it or not. And introverts can do extremely well at sales because number one, they have a tendency to listen more and talk less. Okay. So that's a huge leg up in sales. I promise you sales is way more about listening than it is talking. All right. Number three, you need to make 200 phone calls a day in order to get shippers as a freight broker. <laughs> Wrong. Now, there are people, if you make 200 phone calls a day, then you will probably talk to some prospects because someone's going to pick up the phone. But if you have a generic sales pitch, you don't know how to overcome objections, you don't know how to be different, you don't have good questions that you're asking, if you don't do a lot of the fundamentals of sales, it doesn't matter how many dials you make. Okay. So ultimately, I can tell you this right now, emphatically, I never ever as a freight broker made a hundred to 200 dials on the phone a day ever. And I was able to get shippers every single week as an introverted freight broker. I know many of my students who have taken the frameworks and taken the trainings that I've done in the freight broker sales arena, particularly my freight broker sales accelerator, and have converted them without making hundreds of cold calls a day. They're making 30 to maybe 50 calls a day and outreach via email and LinkedIn. And we teach a multi-channel outreach approach, but you don't need to make hundred to 200 dials a day in order to get customers as a freight broker or freight agent. Okay. All right. Number four, the secret to sales is to always be closing that old 1980s sales mantra from the old movie, Glen Gary, Glen Ross. That movie has a star studded cast, Jack Lemmon, Alec Baldwin, all kinds of great actors in that movie. But the strategies that they talk about A, B, C, A, always B, B, C, closing, always be closing, always 
be closing. That's garbage. I don't know if it worked in the 80s, but here's what I can promise you now. It doesn't work now. Not in B2B sales. It doesn't work. You can't be that pushy salesperson. You got to understand that buyers have access to more information than ever before for buying products because of the internet, because of social media, because of their online presence, because of AI, because of all the tools that are available. They have access to more information and more data to make good decisions. They do not need you to be pushy. They do not need you to always be closing. My strategy, my theory that I've kind of created off of that, spun off of that is to always be giving, giving value, giving information, giving access. So that's the difference. You definitely don't want to be the always be closing. You want to be more the always be giving. All right. And number five, this is the one, this is the death kiss. So lean in. This is the one that everybody thinks you have to have, and it's the biggest lie going. You have to be the cheapest in order to get shippers. Wrong. I was rarely, if ever the cheapest. And we built an $80 million a year brokerage. And the best brokers that I know in the world, and I know a lot of them, are rarely, if ever, the cheapest. Now, they may or may not be the most expensive. If this is the cheapest and this is the most expensive, they're usually somewhere in the middle. And so ultimately, that is a huge lie. It's a huge challenge for people because people think that well, I got to go in and I got to beat the current rate. If I beat the rate by five bucks, they'll give me a chance. They'll give me the load, right? You will even hear shippers say that sometimes. Here's what happens when you hear a shipper tell you, hey, if you can beat my current rate by five bucks, you know, I'll give you a chance at the load. Here's what you need to do. You need to pick up and exit stage one. I promise you, it's an absolute waste of time to deal with those shippers, right? If they're focused exclusively on price, you don't want anything to do with them. Find shippers, find customers, find people that appreciate the value that you can bring to the table and develop those relationships around service and value versus just price, okay? So those are the five biggest lies that people tell about freight broker sales. And so listen, I hope you guys appreciated this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share and comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this on a scale of one to 10. One being, hey, Dennis, this was a waste of my time. 10 meaning, hey, listen, I absolutely love this. Please give us more videos like this. I'd love to hear from you in the comments uh, with any questions that you have in the comments, obviously. So listen, appreciate you guys being here. Have an awesome day and I'll see you next week.